I can't do that. Now you can't do it on the spot. Start over. All right. Merlin was just talking to David and I here. Oh, what? Mother thought there was something wrong with me because I couldn't, couldn't talk. And I was three years old and she thought there was something wrong. I wasn't talking. Most yeah. of the kids saying mommy and daddy or something. <laughs> One day yeah. they trailed a bunch of horses past the house. And I don't know how many horses it was. It might have been 500, it might have been 1,000. Yeah, <laughs> a bunch of them. A lot of horses. A lot of horses. A lot of horses. Yeah. And I went run in the kitchen and I grabbed my mom by the leg in the air. Mommy a horse, mommy a horse. <laughs> she, she she, and, you, and, and you hadn't said a word until and then? Not until then. Oh and my I, God. My mother sighed a big relief. Ah, Lassie's all right. <laughs> <laughs> the little she knew. That you knew how to talk, but you just never talked. Oh, that's good. Yeah, my mother is alive, still alive. She'll tell you that very story. Remember that very story. Yeah, she'll tell you that very story. And you were three years old? Three years old. Never said a word. And then his first words were, Mommy. A horse. A horse. And my, from that time on, my world consisted of horses and horses and horses. And then it got to be horses and cows and cows and horses and horses and cows and cows and horses. <laughs> and then I got to be about 16, 17 years old, and I found out that there was pretty girls. <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, here we go. Now my world consists of pretty girls, horses, and cows. In that order. I think that's pretty good. Add a little rawhide thrown in. Yeah, well, that come, that come a lot later. Yeah, he makes some beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Thanks for the interview. Okay, bye-bye.